This is a video on how to repair an OMC gas tank that's leaking near the connecting point. I've pulled the fuel connector off just a little bit to see where the leak is. And here's where you see the fuel coming out. Look at the pin in the bottom right. What has to be done is this wedged in plug has to be removed and the O-ring seats and so forth in this piece be repaired. These are the tools needed, a drill with a 3 seconds drill bit, a hammer, a pointed chisel punch, the yellow tool is an o-ring tool, a small drill less than an eighth, a small rag, straight blade screwdriver, a knife, a flat punch, needle nose pliers, and here are the parts from Crowley's Marine. It's the o-ring the small o-ring with the double seal and the staking plug. They call it a core plug. These are ordered from Crowley and there's the OMC part number. First thing you want to do is twist the fuel cap so that the cap releases the pressure in the tank. The next step is take a hammer and chisel and punch a little notch for a drill on this plug. You can see the notch that I've created in the dimple. The next step is to come in with the drill and drill at this notch. Now the hole is through and I'll take a, the chisel and stick it in the hole and wedge the plug out. You can see the valve core inside. Take your finger and press the little stem till it's in as far as it push. Take a needle nose pliers, reach in, and pull the stem out. Now that the stem is removed, you can see this outer washer and the o-ring just inside of it. That has to be removed. This washer has been staked in, so I have to use a chisel to carefully remove the material that's holding the washer in place. See, I've been scraping with the knife and chisel point to get the staking cleared off. Now that I've cleared the staking out, I take a drill bit, just a little bit smaller than the hole, and rock the washer out of position. And I use my O-ring extraction tool to get the old O-ring out. This O-ring has a double seal on the outside and a thick space on the inside. I take a screwdriver and a soft cloth and gently clean out the hole where the O-ring goes. Then I insert the O-ring back into the recess. Then I put the washer back in front of the O-ring need to tap it in so it's in flush and then stake it. Here I am just pushing with a flat punch and it cleared all the staking and it's seated. Now I'll take the chisel point and stake it in the rest of the way. This is the pointed chisel I'm using to stake it in. You can see that I did three points of staking in this picture about 12:30, 1 o'clock, about 5 o'clock, and about 8 o'clock. Inside you see the o-ring that has to be pulled out The next step is to pull out the o-ring on the inside Take your rag and gently clean the seat where this stake plug goes in so all the debris and filter out of it Followed by inserting the other o-ring The next step is to seat this o-ring that I've loosely set in place it in with my tool. I don't think that way is to push this in the rest of the way with the tool. Just push it around gently until it's seated all the way in. And then inspect inside. Next step is to insert the needle into the into the hole and 
here it goes. After inserting this needle, I'll take this punch again and gently push the rod in the rest of the way so you can see it's out. And it's much stiffer than the old one. And the next thing is to install the spring. Notice it has a narrow side and a wide side. The narrow side goes in first. The next is once you have the spring in place to put the core plug in place. Can't do this and hold the camera, but I'm going to use that same plug uh, punch that I was using. Push it in place. Holding the cap in with the punch, the dome side out, I'll strike it with a hammer. You can see the diameter of my flat punch was not as big around as the factory punch. So it took tapping in a few places to ensure that the plug was fully seated. Now we're going to check for leaks. No further fuel leaks.